Well, hi there, and welcome to our Sunday Song Time here on Easter Sunday morning, 2024. Yes, I'll say Happy Easter to you. And, oh, by the way, I might have mentioned this somewhere before, but do you know the formula that uh, the early church councils came up with as to when Easter gets celebrated? Because it moves around on the calendar, as you know. And so, here it is. Uh, It is the first Sunday that occurs after the first full moon that occurs after the spring equinox. There, it's clear as mud for you, but anyway. Uh, so, uh, so here we are today on this Easter Sunday morning, and I wish you a very happy Easter, however you plan to celebrate it. Um, I got a song for you. It's not an old song, hence the Sunday song time as opposed to Sunday hymn time. Uh, no, it goes back to about 2019. And uh, a couple of weeks back, uh, one, of the, one of the folks at our little church, uh, my good friend Jessica, she said, uh, have you ever heard this song? I said, no. And she said, well, let me sing a bit of it for you. And she did. And I said, oh, you sing that so beautifully. Would you mind singing it for the congregation on Easter Sunday morning? And, and she agreed, because it is a great song for, uh, for this time of year. And so, uh, well, I'm, I'm kind of using you to, to warm up here because this morning at church we'll, we'll do this song together and I just got to remember, I got to remember the chord. She's going to sing it. So she'll sing it the way it's supposed to be sung, uh, my friend Jessica, but I'll do my best here for you anyway. Uh, the song, it's by a group named Cain and it's called The Commission. And uh, yeah, it comes from the perspective of Jesus's great commission to us as his followers. See my hands, look at my feet. It's okay if it's hard to believe. I have faith you will do great things. It's my time to go. But before I leave, go tell the world about me. I was dead, but now I live. I gotta go now for a little while But goodbye is not the end Don't forget the things that I taught you I conquered death and I hold the keys Where I go, you will go to someday. Oh, there's much to do here before you leave. Go tell the world about me. I was dead, but now I live. I gotta go now for a little while But goodbye is not the end of the journey The end of the road My spirit is with you Wherever you go You have a purpose And I have a plan I'll make you this promise I'll come back again But until then Go tell the world about me I was dead, but now I live I gotta go now for a little while But goodbye is not the end Go tell the world about me For 
I was dead, but now I live. I gotta go now for a little while. But goodbye is not the end. Yes, I gotta go now for a little while. But goodbye is not the end. The Commission. Yeah, known as the Great Commission. That's at the end of the Gospel of Matthew. He says, go into the world, preach the Gospel. Go tell the world about me. And I get an opportunity as you do too, right? You've got a computer, you've got social media, you've got access to the internet. Hey, and 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 maybe maybe it's just the people that you run into when you're when you're walking around in your neighborhood. Go tell the world about him. Doesn't have to always be, you know, sharing everything right away. No, maybe just maybe just sharing a a kind word that causes them to think, "Well, why is that person interested in me?" And don't make anybody just a project. You know, hey, if I if I steer them in the right direction, I can get them to pray the sinner's prayer. And hey, praise the Lord if that happens. But for every person, every person that has come to faith in Jesus, it's a process. It's a process. And you know it as well as I do. And there were different people in your life. Some of them... Well, I guess I guess Paul speaks about it in the scriptures, doesn't he? You know, like some of them, some of them maybe watered the seed, maybe maybe planted the seed, planted the seed in somebody's mind. Somebody came along to water it. Somebody came along to kind of help it grow, and then someone got a chance to maybe harvest that seed. Yeah, if you look back in your life, when you think of all the different people that influenced you for God, you'll see several. Um, in fact, uh, Terry Winter, a great Canadian evangelist, had a chance to meet him one time. Uh, he talked about links in a chain. All of us have links, and you're going to be a link for someone. Hey, I might be a link for someone right now. I don't know. Uh, along your journey. But uh, the other day, I, I posted some uh, scriptures for Easter time on, on my Facebook page. And uh, they come from the Bible. First of all, the words of Jesus. And uh, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He said that in John chapter 11. And the one who believes in me will live even though they die. And uh, part of this song, the commission, uses uh, Revelation chapter 1. In verse 18, he said, I am the living one. I was dead, but now look, I am alive forever and ever. And in this song, it mentions about how I hold the keys. And that's, that's what he said to John in Revelation chapter 1. I hold the keys of death and Hades. He's our, he's our source of, well, of eternal life and then also abundant life in this world even right now. That's why he came, to give us real life. And then... Now, I might have even mentioned this sometime before. The oldest book in the Bible is believed to be the book of Job. Yeah, the book of Job, and it uh, goes back a long, long way, thousands of years. And uh, old Job, if you ever read that book, it's, okay, first of all, it's the weirdest book you'll ever read. Uh, secondly, you got to be careful because uh, his friends come along to comfort him, and some of you know that story, and they, they say all kinds of things. And there are chapters upon chapters of all these friends' advice to Job. And in the end, God says, no, you've, you've given Job bad counsel. So you've got to be careful what you take as God's truth in, in that book of Job. I know that sounds weird. But Job, way, way back, and like I say, thousands of years, thousands of years even before a man named Jesus walked on the earth, said these words. Oh, and I should mention it too, by the way. Those of you who are here in Ontario and you're familiar with Canada's Wonderland, right? And they have those big roller coasters, Behemoth and Leviathan. Yeah, do you know where they got those from? The book of Job. In fact, some people think maybe Job even mentioned dinosaurs. Mm, like I say, interesting book. 
But in Job 19, verse 25 through 26, Job said this, I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand on the earth and after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. Like I say, I want to wish you a happy Easter, however you celebrate this weekend or choose not to. But for me, for me, I want to go tell. Go tell the world about this one who said, I'm the resurrection and the life. And whoever believes in me, oh, well, they will live, even though they die physically, right? As Job said, yeah, this, this old skin of mine is going to be gone someday, but... I will see him again. I really, truly believe it. All right. Well, happy Easter and may the Lord bless you and your family. And thanks for tuning in here on this Easter weekend, 2024.